please have your hands on your thighs and begin to move your right knee a little bit to the outside and to the inside. So just a very easy movement in the hip joint we're exploring, taking the knee from side to side, but uh, recalling that as a consequence of that movement in the hip joint, the pressure underneath the right foot is shifting, so I'm mirroring now, to the outside and to the inside edge of the foot. And then please bring the right knee to rest and then do the same with the left side. So just moving the knee from side to side, sensing whether it may be a little bit different in this hip joint compared to the other hip joint and feeling how that again shifts the weight to one side of the foot and then the other. Good. And then please pause and bring your right heel forward to touch the floor and then the tips of the toes and then the heel, the tips of the toes, the heel and now if you can, just the ball of the foot and then the tips of the toes once more, just the ball of the foot and then the heel. Oh, I've got to click then. <laughs> and then please bring your other heel forward, just to, so the heel is just touching. And then the tips of the toes, the heel, the tips of the toes and now the ball of the foot, the toes, the heel the ball of the foot, the heel, and then the tips of the toes, and then come back to center. And then once more, bring your attention to your right side and down to the foot, and think of lifting the big toe side of the foot, and then the little toe side of the foot, trying to keep the knee centered. So not the knee tilting from side to side, but lifting the big toe side and then the little toe side of the foot, keeping the knee more or less still, and see if you can just sense that that movement in the ankle, really, in the foot, again, it's shifting the weight from one edge of the foot to the other, but it's also there's this little rotation of the lower leg relative to the knee that's taking place. And then pause, do the same with the left foot, so lifting the big toe side of the foot and then the little toe side of the foot, trying to keep the jaw nice and relaxed, the hands nice and soft, seeing if you can find that movement in the foot. Good. And then please pause, and then think of just curling your right toes under and release. So just as though you're trying to pick up something with the toes and then release. And then once more, just think of picking up something with the toes and then release. And then with your left toes, think of just curling them under. So we're just working one of the arches of the feet, just trying to pick up some um, tissue paper and release. And then once more with the left toes, good, release. And now do once the right toes, release. The left toes, release. Right toes, release. Left toes, release. And now both feet together, just trying to pick up something with the feet and then let them go fully. Once more, scrunching up the toes, good, and then release. And then once more, scrunching up the toes, good, and then release. Now, bring your attention down to your right foot once more and think there's a bug underneath the heel and you're just squashing that bug down into the floor and then release. So once more just squashing that bug, um, pressing the foot fully into the floor, particularly the heel, and then release. And can you sense that as you press into the foot it brings about a little bit of our side bending, a little shift of weight over onto the left hand side. And then pause, bring your attention to the left foot and think of just squashing the heel down and then release. So squashing the heel down uh, and then release. 
and then once more again, can you sense what that does in the hip joint, causes or helps to bring about a little shift of weight over up to the right. And then begin to alternate, pressing down into the right foot, release, pressing down into the left foot and release, once more into the right foot and release, and then into the left foot and release. And now this time think of pressing both feet down into the floor and see if that makes you a little bit taller and then release. So you're just pressing both feet down into the floor. So it causes a little rolling of the pelvis forward and I feel a little push going through into the crown of my head. And once more, push the feet down into the floor to see if you can feel that lengthening action through into the crown of the head. And then uh, leave that alone, bring your right foot forward and then just lift the toes, keeping the ball of the foot down, and then put them down. So toes first, just putting them back down. And as you lift the toes, we're just trying to create space between the toes, and then back down. And now lift the toes, followed by the ball of the foot. Put the ball of the foot down, and then the toes. So once more, toes, ball of the foot only and then ball of the foot down, and then the toes, and then once more toes, followed by the ball of the foot. And then keep the front of the foot lifted, and think of making some circles in space with the big toe. So, but you can see I'm allowing my knee to fully respond to the movement, so the knee is also making a circle. And there's also a circle very much going on in the hip joint. And then just reverse the direction of those circles. So again, full circles in the ankle and the foot, but allowing it to travel through the leg into the hip joint. And now pause and think of the little toe side of the foot making those circles. So just little toe side. And then just reverse the direction of those circles easy breathing and then leave that alone bring the leg back to standing and this time bring your left foot slightly forward and first of all just lift the toes see if you can just differentiate the movement of the toes and then put them back down so toes are lifting keeping the ball of the foot pressing down and then release and then once more just the toes lifting trying to spread them apart and release and then lift the toes followed by the ball of the foot put the ball of the foot down and then the toes so toes come first followed by the ball of the foot put the ball of the foot down and then the toes and then once more toes ball of the foot ball of the foot down and toes and then lift the whole of the front of the foot keeping the heel down and then begin circles, thinking it's the big toe that's made tracing these circles in space, but fully allowing the movement to be in the, um, in the knee and in the hip joint, and then just reverse the direction of those circles. Good. And now pause to transfer the attention to the little toe side of the foot, and then see again, can you make some circles, thinking of the little toe side of the foot leading those movements, and then just reverse the direction of those circles. Great, and then please bring the foot, uh, both feet back to standing. And then imagine underneath your right foot, you have the letter V. <laughs> The, um, the bottom of the V is where the uh, heel is, the big toe side is one side of the V, the little toe side is the other. And then think you are bringing the two sides of the V closer together. And then release. So it's not a big 
big movement that you're, you're doing. Oh, I can't even see that. <laughs> Sorry about that. A little bit further back. It's, um, it's a narrowing of the sole of the foot and then release. So again, you have another arch on the foot, a transverse arch it's called, and you're just thinking of the two sides of the feet gathering together underneath the foot and then release. And then leave that alone, bring your attention to your left foot and think the V is there now and you're gathering the two sides of the V closer together and release. Uh, well, and then have a notification and then once more gather the two sides of the V closer together and then release. And maybe just as you do a few more of those, if you bring your attention to the hip, can you feel what that movement in the foot causes something to happen in the hip joint? And then um, bring your attention to the right foot and think of the two sides of the V gathering together. And then the left um, foot alternating being the right foot the left foot, once more the right foot, and then the left foot. Good. And then see if you can gather the soles of both feet together and then release. So just gathering the soles of both feet together. And once more, can you feel that sense of push up through the spine and then release? And once more, gathering both sides of the V closer together and then release. Good. Now, um, pause. And so please bring your attention to your right foot and imagine there is a peg through the big and second toe. And then think of lifting your heel and taking it to the outside and put it down, lifting it high and bringing it to the inside and putting it down. So you're lifting the foot high and putting it to the outside and put it down, and then lifting it high and bringing it to the inside and putting it down. So once more, lifting it high, taking it to the outside and feeling how the knee travels to the inside, and then lifting it high and putting it to the outside, inside and put it down, and then come back to centre. And then please um, bring your attention to your left foot, put your imaginary peg between the big and second toe, and then lift the heel high and take the heel to the outside, so you're pivoting around that peg, so the knee tilts to the inside, and then lift it high and bring the heel to the inside, letting the knee tilt to the outside. So you're lifting it high, taking it to the outside and putting it down, lifting it high and bringing it to the inside and put it down. So once more, high to the outside and put it down, and then lifting it high and to the inside and put it down, and then bring come back to centre. And then please bring both feet and knees together, and with the hands on the thighs, just try and keep the knees together and the heels together as you take the toes apart and then come back to centre. So toes apart and come back to centre and toes apart and come back to centre. And now keep the toes together as you lift the heels and take them apart and come back to centre. So heels lifting and taking them apart and come back to centre. And again, can you feel the movement of the foot does something in terms of the thigh bones, it's internally rotating them and then come back. And now, still keeping the knees together, can you take the toes apart and come back to centre, the heels apart and come back to centre, once more toes apart, come back to centre, and then heels apart and come back to centre. And now this time, let the knees, um, don't keep the knees together, but take the toes apart, take the heels apart, bring the toes apart, and then the heels apart. Bring the heels together, the toes together, 
the heels together, the toes together. And then once more, lead, this time leading with the toes, heels, toes, heels. I've got one more left in me, toes apart. And then bring the toes together, the heels together, toes together, heels together, toes together. Good. And then just rest.